As of 2018, the Nerf market is filled with hundreds of blasters. These blasters range from all different shapes, sizes, colours, compatibility. There's brilliant Nerf blasters and there is the terrible Nerf blasters. What is up guys? My name is Wazup127 and these are 10 Nerf blasters any Nerfer should buy. So coming in at the number 10 spot is the most basic of blasters. It's the Nerf N-Strike Elite Retaliator. From the early days of the recon, this was the one blaster that everybody owned. And then when N-Strike went out of business and Elite came in, this became the Retaliator. So there are three versions of the Retaliator right now. The regular blue, the Elite XD, and the Sonic Ice. But unfortunately, you will not be getting your hands on the Sonic Ice version anymore. R.I.P. Toys R Us. However though, the Retaliator may be taking its way off the market due to the new Delta Trooper coming in. So Retaliator is a very base blaster, has a top prime slide, has a barrel with a grip, a very short and very uncomfortable stock. I suggest if you have a Retaliator, you get another stock for it. And it comes with a 12 round magazine. The blast has average elite performance, uh, comfortable, uh, of course with magazines it makes it very practical and this is why it's number 10 on the list as it is your most basic of nerf busters. Coming in at number 9 is the Nerf N-Strike Mega Cyclone Shock. So if you are one to try out Mega but you're skeptical and don't want to go for one of the bigger blasters, I recommend starting off small with the Cyclone Shock. Cyclone Shock over Magnus because it holds double the ammo, more comfortable prime, and it's just a better range and it's overall just a better blaster. This is one of my favorite Mega Blasters and if I was rocking a Mega War, I would always have this by my side. Similar to a Nerf Strong Arm, it has a cylinder which you load the Mega Darts into, top slide, and just excellent performance and of course being mega it's nice and large and takes the big mega dot. Coming in at number 8 is the Nerf Zombie Strike Hammer Shot. So the Hammer Shot is probably one of everyone's favourite Nerf pistols. Uh, with the Hammer Prime you're able to dual wield them very easily but it has a front loading cylinder, only holds 5 shots though it's a bit low but it's got excellent performance, comfortable handle and as I said the Hammer Prime makes it ideal for dual wielding. This is my go-to secondary blaster, uh, which is why it is on the list. But it's in that zombie strike colour scheme, so you've got the cloth handle and, and the idea that it's been put together in a shed. Uh, it features a rail on the top and it's just a very nice small blaster, very compact and an ideal secondary for any nerfer. Now coming in at number 7 is the other side of the hammer shot story. What I mean by this is you are torn down the middle between hammer shot versus strong arm. However though, strong arm got an upgrade there last year and this is the disruptor which is why the disruptor is on the list as it proves on what the strong arm had and it has pretty much replaced it in the market. So the disruptor gets rid of the one biggest flaw of the strong arm which was the cylinder coming out. Instead it has the front loading like the hammer shot and it has a higher capacity than the hammer shot. But everything the strong arm had, which everyone loved, this the disruptor had as well. Nice comfortable handle, the back sliding and the slam fire action. And so this is pretty much replaced on the market right now. Instead of seeing strong arms everywhere, you will be seeing disruptors everywhere. This is just above the hammer shot for me, just because it has that front loading cylinder if uh, the disruptor wasn't out and the strong arm was still around, the hammer shot and disruptor slash strong arm uh, positions will be changed in this list. But for now, number seven is the disruptor. So number six is a follow-up to the number nine. After trying Mega and you love it, uh, I recommend going in with the Roto Fury. This is my favorite Mega Blaster. Why this over the Twin Shock? It's a bit smaller, it's a bit lighter, whilst holding the same amount of ammo. So it's got a comfortable grip at the front and back, 10 shots, high capacity, as well as slam fire. But this blaster is good for both stock performers and modders, as I've seen modders rebar this thing to shoot elite darts and it hits very hard with them. As well for stock nerfers, uh, for a mega blaster it's an ideal primary if you're running a mega loadout. However, lack of stock point makes people dislike this blaster, which I understand it would be really nice to um, shoulder blaster. But however, if you love the cyclone shock at number 9 and want to upgrade to a bigger mega blaster, I totally recommend the Roto Fury. At number 5, we have the Nerf Modulus Regulator. Some people may question this. 
Well, if the regulator wasn't out, the rapid strike or the hyper fire would be there. The reason this is the regulator is because of that select fire technology. This just changes everything. With select fire has the choice, you can either single fire the blaster, full auto or burst fire. So if you are a user who does not like full auto and you want a large single fire uh, fire blaster, you have that regulator. But if you also want a fast rate of fire full auto blaster, you have the regulator again. In addition to come with some really cool attachments such as a stock which holds a magazine and some cool little barrels and this weird handle on the front. Uh, it may be expensive price but for a full auto blaster having the option to single fire or full auto without controlling trigger pull instead of having a switch to do that, that is why it's at number 5 and that's why it's there instead of the rapid strike. We have the first rival blaster in the list, and that is the Kronos. Kronos is an amazing new addition to 2018 and an amazing addition to the rival line. Small, compact, comfortable, with great range, it's just an ideal secondary for your rival loadout. In addition, new parts such as speed loaders, magnetic holsters, and a variety of different accessories make the Kronos a really nice secondary blaster. I love it. I've rocked it in a couple of wars and it's never done me bad. Although holding five shots, you might think that's a low capacity. It's very, very easy reload, especially if you get some of these new speed loaders. But if you don't have that, it just has a slot in the top where you load and you arrive around. Very simple, very easy. And this is why it's at number four on the list. So coming at number three, you probably would expect this to appear on the list, but it is the Nerf Rival Nemesis. If you have the money, pick this blaster up. It is arguably the best rival blaster. A hundred rounds, full auto, hopper fed, it's just an amazing blaster. If you have the price to spend over a hundred on this thing, then go for it. Uh, rocking this and, an, and a Kronos in a rival loadout will do you very good. However, you won't even need a secondary using a rival nemesis as with the hopper you have easy on the go reload being able to load balls in through the top. But in addition, it's got a comfortable stock, comf weight distributed nicely. And if you don't want to buy batteries, you can buy a rechargeable battery pack and just continue using this blaster and then charging the battery pack uh, for ongoing blasting. Number three, because of the price, if this were a lot cheaper, this would be number one on the list, but some people do not have the money to spend this much on a Nerf blaster, which is why the rival nemesis is at number three. At number two, we've got a classic Nerf blaster, uh, loved by everyone since the its end strike days, and that is the Alpha Trooper. However, just want to note out that to my knowledge, the Elite Alpha Trooper is not available in America anymore. However, for my European British users, uh, British watchers, the Alpha Trooper is still out. You can buy this at your local Argos, and there are places such as uh, Bancroft.de, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, where you can pick up the Alpha Trooper. Uh, it's an amazing blaster. I've had it in my loadout for years, and it's stayed to the top, and it's stayed one of my favorites for years on the end. Uh, my version is rocked out from the Elite Pinpoint site in a custom raid stock. I love this blaster, which is why it's number two on my list, and I believe any nerver should have it. If you are an American and you haven't been able to get your hands on one, you likely might be able to find them on eBay or in Goodwill. Even if they're second hand, I recommend you get Alpha Trooper, as it's one of the best nerf blasters out there. And coming at number one, Comment down below if you guessed this, but it's the End Strike Elite Strife. This is a favourite of many. Currently, the version on the market you can get is the Modular Strife. The orange and blue versions have faded away into non-existence, have faded away off shelves. In US, I believe, I see them in the UK all the time still. But you don't have to worry about that because you can pick up the Modulus one on Amazon now. But the Strife is a very small, magazine-fed flywheel blaster. Uh, however, it can be customised, you can put stocks, barrels, scopes, everything on it is very customisable as well as being a very practical blaster. Semi-auto so you can control your shots, but this is number one on my list as it's a suitable blaster for any nerfer. For stock nerfers, it's still got that nice elite performance, well flywheel elite performance, uh, and being able to hold magazines, it just puts it above a lot of blasters. But for modders as well, I've seen them put lipos and, and all sorts of stuff in this, uh, such as uh, worker kits to make them look aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. But the Strife, amazing blaster, and suits any nerfer out there, which is why it's on number one on my list. So do you agree with this list? This is my this is my opinion, so like other people may disagree, but this is my opinion on the 10 nerf blasters which any nerfer should have. So comment down below if you agree with me, and if you disagree with me, tell me why not. And Tell me what should be number one or what should be number two. But anyways, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, WhatsApp 1207. The link is in the description. Turn on post notifications so you never miss out when I upload a video. And as always, thanks for watching.